What's going on y'all, Danny Quach here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my quick little five ingredient uh, protein pancake mix. It's Saturday morning and I'm up way too early, but my body's just used to getting up super early now because of cardio. So I got my, my country music blaring, um, and I'll, I'll, it's going to be, a, a, I guess, a live demo, so hopefully it turns out pretty well. But this recipe itself will um, yield 7.5 grams of fat, 54 grams of carbs, and 32 grams of protein. Uh, of course, you can substitute things in and out. Um, try to keep the ratios the same if you can, um, but I I'll give you guys more input on that as we go along. But my favorite uh, kitchen equipment, I guess you could say, is this Ninja. I bought it right at the beginning of my prep, and it's been a lifesaver to me. So this is what I'm mixing my protein thing, and um, it, it, it pretty much just chops and mixes things for me, and I don't know, it's called a Ninja too, and I'm part Ninja, so that's always fun. But I have a, a skillet right here, probably about medium low to medium, and I just sprayed some non-stick spray um, as we get everything together and I'll, let me take this so here are the five ingredients um, we got egg whites baking powder um, bananas oats and splenda or cinnamon sugar whatever your uh, sweetener it is um, one two three four five yeah that's five ingredients um, just making sure my my math is Correct, I'm not the best at math, but um, give or take, if you don't like Splenda, Truvia, you could use real sugar, it doesn't matter, just make sure everything fits in your macros. And also, um, I have this pancake syrup from Walden Farms, which is pretty great stuff, zero calories, zero sugar, which is always fun to pour over, but that's not in the five ingredients. So, first step is to take the oatmeal. I have half a cup of oatmeal, and I'm just putting it straight into my Ninja as well as the baking powder. That's really optional as well um, because it, all it does is lets the uh, pancakes rise a little bit. So if you like fluffy pancakes, go for it. If not, it's not a big deal. And any sort of sweeteners, the artificial sweeteners and or cinnamon that you want to throw in there, um, go ahead and throw that in there. I feel like I'm on the Food Network. Check me out, Guy Fieri, an emerald. Bam! I'm just playing. Um, that would be pretty sweet to have a, a bodybuilding cooking show, though, right? With every, all the macros. Anyways, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna plug my ninja in. What? Basically, what we're doing now is we're mimicking a flower. So we're gonna chop up the oats and turn it into some sort of. Finer grain flour. So a couple quick pulses, and you can already see that it's it's not oats anymore. It's kind of like an oat flour. From here, I'm going to throw in half of banana. The other half I cut into medallions to put into the um, pancakes as they cook, just so you have whole pieces of banana. But throw this banana in there as well. That'll give it some sweetness and some banana flavor. And then pour about half a cup of the egg whites as well. And put the cat back on and blend away again. And again, everything's to your consistency, whatever you like. Um, if you like more eggy um, <coughs> pancakes, add more eggs. If not, um, less eggs will make for a more cakey <coughs> pancakes. And anything left over, scramble the eggs, cook the oatmeal. But those are the macros that my coach set out for me. So I try to utilize it all. So right now I have one whole egg and probably about half a cup of egg whites left, so I'm just going to scramble those into my, uh, scramble those so they're sides to my, my breakfast.
So here's the consistency of the, the batter, I guess you could say. Um, it's kind of liquidy just because of the egg whites, but you'll be amazed. So I'm going to start cooking it. Just kind of spoon it into your frying pan, into little medallions. And there you have it, you have pancakes. Um, I'll keep it rolling, hopefully it doesn't take too long to cook. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, but I'll take this time to do a couple quick shout outs. Um, Jacob, Kevin, Harry, James, Justin, Lucas, and Derek, thank you guys for always interacting with me on Twitter. I always appreciate the support. Um, another quick shout out to B Sports, strongest name in sports nutrition. Um, they've been supporting me throughout this whole way. I'm about nine, nine weeks out today, this morning, right now. Um, and, I mean, their products are amazing, guys. Um, I mean, I've used it. If you guys have been following me for a while, I, sp I, was, I was sponsored probably about a year and a half to almost two years now. And if you can see my physique before to now, it's crazy. And I also have to give a shout out to Christian Coronado. He's been my coach for these past two comp competition seasons and he's brought my, he, he's, he's amazing. So check them out guys, um, follow him on Twitter. Um, and the idea behind, so usually I eat half a cup of oatmeal in the morning, scramble my eggs, and eat it like that. So when I have extra time, I like to change things up because contest prep can get a little monotonous and um, it's always good to change textures up, change just little things that you can change up, add in seasonings, herbs. Uh, Mrs. Dash is always a good example. Ways to change the palate to keep your mind um, happy. Uh, so uh, this is just another way to get a breakfast in when I have a little extra time. It's, it's away from just squishy oatmeal and squishy scrambled eggs. I'm actually going to have pancakes during contest prep, which is pretty sweet. Um, but going back to this, let me see if I can get a shot. So they're starting to rise, which is pretty cool. This is when I'm going to start throwing on a little bit of the bananas on top before I flip it, just to make it kind of pretty, and again, to have... Uh, whole chunks of banana in there is always, always a good thing. And of course, hit me up on Instagram or, or on Twitter. I'm going to post filtered pictures of these just to make you guys drool a little bit more. But, um, but yeah, that was a pretty quick recipe. Again, all it was was oats, bananas, eggs sugar substitute of your choice, and baking powder. Um, and again, any sort of sugar-free syrup or low-calorie syrup that you want to put on top. Um, and it's pretty easy stuff, guys. You got to try to be creative, again, during contest prep because things can get pretty monotonous. So um, that was my quick five-ingredient recipe. If you guys want more, less, more Q&As, less Q&As, more cooking, different tips, uh, just let me know. Again, hit me up on Twitter, on Instagram, my Facebook. All of it is DQ Fitness. Um, and that's about it. Um, again, check me out. I'm going to post pictures of these, obviously, so uh, on Twitter and Instagram. So check them out in a little bit. And always remember to work. Work hard and put work over everything, guys. All right.